Hi guys, welcome to video number one in the series of tutorial videos for the Canon EOS 60D. In this series we're going to be having a look around the general layout of the camera, the controls, dials and the buttons, as well as the menu items, modes and custom functions that you would set while setting the camera up for first use so you can get to know this camera and get out shooting as soon as possible. Okay, looking around the front of the 60D, uh, we can see the lens release which is just on the camera right as we look at it at the moment um, just above that is the uh, flash release for the inbuilt flash as well as the microphone the internal microphone which is a mono microphone and on the other side uh, which we can't see it's in shadow at the moment is the depth of field preview button as well uh, okay and uh, we have the shutter release at the front uh, the clear plastic element is actually for a AF assist beam, not that the camera has one, I think it's just something they use on the body shells. And the clear black plastic that you can see on the grip is for the infrared sensor for remote control. Okay, looking inside the camera we can see the mirror and the autofocus screen with the nine autofocus points. They're all cross type autofocus points with the center one being f2.8 sensitive. Uh, covering Canon's APS-C 18 megapixel sensor, which is also used in the 600D, 550D and the 7D and now I believe the 650D as well. Okay, on the right hand side we see the memory card door which holds the memory card slot, which will take SD cards, and uh, that's either SD standard cards, SDHC or SDXC cards, I use the SDHC cards ranging from 4GB up to 32GB myself uh, by SanDisk. Okay, and I recommend using Class 10 cards so they are suitably fast enough for burst stills as well as also high definition video recording on the Canon EOS 60D. Okay, on the left hand side of the Canon EOS 60D we can see the mode dial, um, the speaker for sound playback when you're previewing videos on the camera and also a cover which covers the side ports um, for the microphone, HDMI and so forth here. So we'll have a look at these now and what we have is the top port is the microphone port okay that, that's just there and we've got the HDMI out a mini USB where you would connect it for uh, use of the EOS utility and connection there for a remote control, remote shutter release or possibly an intervalometer if you're doing time lapse Okay, here we are looking at the top of the Canon EOS 60D. Okay, and we have the mode dial which has a locking button. You have to press that to actually change the mode on the camera as well. We have the inbuilt flash. The release, remember, is on the side of the body near the lens release. Then just to get the inbuilt flash to uh, open up for you for use. We have as well the hot shoe on the camera for connecting wireless triggers as well as external speed lights. And we have the autofocus mode changing from single shot continuous to AI servo, the drive or burst mode for changing from the fast burst, slow burst, 2 second, 10 second timer, the ISO change button, and the metering mode change button as well. Uh, this bulb button there will actually light up the top LCD panel, which you can't see on the video, really lights it up orange, so you can actually work and see exposure settings in the dark without having to turn on the rear LCD screen. Uh, which is actually quite handy. That LCD screen relays exposure information, shooting information, shooting mode information, and shows your metering bar as well as also um, the battery indicator as well to tell you how much power that you have left in the camera. Uh, we have also the front dial for changing exposure settings as well or moving the AF point if you're selecting an AF point as well and the shutter release uh, located just there. Okay, here we are looking at the rear of the Canon EOS 60D. Uh, we have the optical viewfinder, which is a 96% accurate viewfinder, not 100%. It's a penta prism and not a penta mirror viewfinder, so it's a little brighter, a little bit larger than the likes in of the Canon 500D 550D. We have the delete button, uh, which is just near the on-off button, just underneath the mode dial, which has a locking mechanism on. The diopter for adjusting the viewfinder to suit your eyesight. We also have the live view button and to also start recording video as well. The AF on button which can be customized, we'll sort that out later. 
and we can zoom in and zoom out of an image using these two buttons here as well as the exposure lock and the AF point selection button as well. Okay, they double, they have double duties. We have the uh, memory card access light that will continuously flash during video recording. Okay, we also have here the menu button for getting into the menu, information for bringing up information during playback of an image, exposure information and so forth. We have also the quick menu button for getting quick access to the rear menu options or the most change options and the uh, dial as well or the wheel with the d-pad and the set button can be used to change exposure settings depending on what mode that you're in as well as selecting AF points and other functions we'll look at that in more detail later okay we also have just below that there the play button as well for playback of images or video the lock button which will lock the wheel to save you accidentally adjusting any exposure settings during shooting and that also doubles up as a picked bridge button for printing direct from camera to a printer as well now we also have an articulating screen um, on the Canon EOS 60D which you can see here which is really handy for shooting at strange angles and also um, keeping tidy against the body of the camera Okay, the battery that the 60D takes is the Canon LPE6 series battery, which is the same battery used in the Canon EOS 7D, 5D Mark II, as well as also the 5D Mark III. So there's plenty of these things available, plenty of chargers if you need to buy another one as well. I don't think we'll be running out of stock of these batteries for quite a long time. <laughs> 